In this video, I'll be setting up a bioactive enclosure for my new pet tree frogs that I got from the St. Louis Reptile Expo. If you want to see more about that expo, check out my last video. But for now, enjoy this setup and enjoy these awesome frogs. Okay, so this is a nice exoterra front opening vertical locking tank, I guess. And it comes with this foam background, but it is important before you put any animals in there to wash it out with hot water. Also wanna wash this false bottom off to get all the dust before you put it in here. So I'm gonna go wash both of these off and I'll be right back to set it. This is gonna be a bioactive tank. So we gotta have first <laughs> then we gotta add the substrate barrier, which is just window screen mesh. So let me cut that out real quick. False bottom, substrate barrier, which I just put in, which is the mesh. The ABG, which is the substrate. And I gotta go grab some sphagnum moss and leaf litter. I'm definitely gonna have to vacuum my floor after this. So that has some carbon in it. Also, which is nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some springtails from my springtail culture to act as like the um, the cleaner uppers. I don't know what you would call them, but there's some in there. I added some springtails to make it bioactive. Okay, so now I'm just gonna spray it down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add some moss and some leaf litter and then some plants. I'm gonna add the plants and then some leaf litter. So let me get some plants. So I got this nice little plant, which is a ficus. Camellia, and hopefully it can like grow up this background. But before I add it, I gotta wash the roots off. Okay, so I washed the roots off as best I could. And I'm gonna plant this in the back. Hopefully that can grow up on the back and be awesome because last time in my other tank it died so <laughs> okay so next if you haven't seen my other video where I show you all my plants in here go check that out but I'm gonna put some of this pothos in here and maybe some of these other plants so I just pulled this one out. I'm gonna throw this somewhere in here. Pothos is like the perfect plant for terrariums and bioactive stuff, because they grow really nicely and in low lighting. So I'm probably gonna throw this one right back in the middle, I guess. It's a little floppy right now. I think I'm gonna add the rest of this uh, mix so the plants have more room for their roots. Probably gonna grab a cutting of the spider wart because it is just going insane in this tank. And maybe I'll grab a little of this peperomia over here. Okay, so I tried my best to get a little cutting. Okay, so I grabbed 
this little peperomia that was growing in the other tank. I'm just gonna throw this right here. I think we're done with planting for now. I also need to get me a light. And then I gotta figure a way how to fit these branches in here. And I gotta get a little bit a uh, little water dish. Well, I also gotta add leaf litter. And then we can finally add the frogs. Now I'm gonna add the leaf litter. Trust me, right now it looks kind of bad, but just wait till these plants grow and it'll look really good. Okay, so I had my neighbor help me cut these and I rinsed them off with hot water. So now they should fit perfectly in here. So let's, let's see. Okay, I think I got the final look. I think that looks really good. All I need is a light on top, which I might use the light that I had my grow out tank with, or it might get a new one. And then we can add the frogs, which is the best part. Okay, so look at that light. It doesn't really fit on top, but it does a good job of keeping it bright. So now time to add the frogs. I'm so excited. Let's go. First, I'm going to spray everything down just real quick. Here's the frogs. These are hourglass tree frogs, by the way, from Josh's Frogs. Look how tiny he is. I got four of them. All right, buddy. Whoa. He jumped way up there. Oh, you just peed on me? Woohoo! Whoa! Alright. Oh, the last one just jumped. <laughs> Automatically. Alright, I'm gonna close this up. And enjoy. Watch him jump around. And explore. Four hourglass tree frogs. Oh man. Wow, oh, they're beautiful. Oh, over here. This tank will look really, really awesome when all these plants eventually grow in. It will look so cool with these little guys jumping from leaf to leaf. Man, they're cool. Okay, that was kind of a lot of work, but it was worth it because these guys are freaking awesome. I love them. Make sure to subscribe to see more animal content, um, some updates on these guys. I'm definitely going to be doing a feeding video soon, so watch out for that. That'll be awesome seeing these active little frogs eating some food. Also, I still have to find a place to put this because I have no room. I have a tank there, a tank over there, a tank over there, a tank on the ground. Like, where am I supposed to put the, these guys? Okay, so right now I have no room, but for my future plans, my gecko, he's in a 10 gallon right now. He is going to be moved into this 20 gallon vertical tank. And then, by that time, I'll have room for both of these tanks to go over there. 